The Big Call February 15, 2018 Transcript and Disclaimer on IQDcalls.com From Bruce, welcome everybody to The Big Call tonight. Let's review where we are. First of all the Chinese New Year started on the 16th which it is already the 16th in Asia. I don't know if it is significant in terms of a start time or a go time. I have heard that the last several days, watch the 16th. Just keep an eye on that in the fact China started their new year. Maybe it will be significant for us. Otherwise Iraq finished up their conference rebuild Iraq hosted in Kuwait. I did not get the specifics of that conference. I assume it was successful. That finished up yesterday I understand. It did not go through today like I thought. It was three days. It started Monday and went through to Wednesday. Hopefully it was successful. Anybody that was planning on doing any investments in Iraq that did not yet know what the rate was for the dinar. The World Bank was backing all investment in that and so that was a way to make sure everybody knew they could invest confidently in rebuilding Iraq. I have a theory to put it out there as my idea is a theory. We will not see a new international rate of the Iraqi dinar publicized for the public to see until we are ready to start exchanges. It seems to be that has been delayed until we get started. I have heard it was going in the Gazette yesterday, the rate, and budget. To my knowledge that did not happen. They publish the Gazette Wednesday and Saturday. I don't think from what I am hearing from my sources we need to have it in the Gazette for us to start. We will see. On the other hand it is nice to see it in the Gazette and have it out. I think what makes it interesting is when it came to the Rebuilding Iraq conference in Kuwait, we ended up saying we would not participate for the additional funding for Iraq we would not participate as a country of the United States until we saw a rate put out. Yet we do know our Secretary of State, Tillerson, was at the conference and my understanding was we had a contribution that was inclusive of some funds sequestered under Maliki that were US funds that were recovered as a credit for us in the tune of $1.8 billion even though the total amount sequestered added as a credit which was $2.1 billion that we were going to participate as an investment giving it a total net value of $3 billion. That's sort of what we heard. If that is the case, then maybe we have a rate that we just are not seeing but we know about. We know the rate on the Qi cards, in country rate is approaching $4. That is where it was a day or so ago. The rate we know about in general terms the dinar has been trading even last weekend Saturday morning almost at $5. Also we heard yesterday or Tuesday the Iraqi dinar is on the move. That would mean rising. We heard something in that effect again today from one of our Forex company it said that the dinar was on the move again or on the rise. That is a good sign for us. I know that currency will be traded up to a value that is comrade to its old backed value. Let's see how that goes. What is interesting to me was the Vietnam Dong has been traded over the last several days. We have seen it up at a certain rate then down a little bit. That is why it is not good to put out a rate because we see the rates go up and down. Yesterday we heard the dong will actually be utilized as a SDR currency and will be in the SDR basket. What is interesting is yesterday the IMF rates came off the screens except for the currencies that were part of the SKR basket. Those are the five currencies in the basket representing the special drawing rights or SDR. You add one or two more currencies to that to give a more strength and stability. Why would you do that with the dong? We understand the dong is considered a donor currency and will be asset backed, because it is or will be asset back. That is what is represented to those currencies not in the basket. That is going to be true of the dong. As a result of that, the dong value will ascend or will go up. We know roughly what the number will be in that basket in what we see on the screens and what we will exchange it for, but it is a cool thing to know it is being added to that. Today is the 15th for a little bit longer. Normally the UN operational rates would put out on the 15th. I have not seen that has occurred of any changes in the UN operational rates. Sometimes those are held back until everything gets started. Also we heard only the SDR basket rates were the only ones showing on the screens. The remaining rates would populate and come back up today. I have not heard confirmation on that. We do not know that. 
It is not a complete piece of information for me right now. As far as anything else internationally, we talked about the SWIFT system that was running parallel to the CIPS fintech system which is the new banking system for international wiring of funds, and our understanding was at midnight last night Russia switched over from the SWIFT to the CIPS fintech item which is much more faster and efficient and secure. That is a very good sign. I believe that system has been proven to be very effective and secure and hopefully that will be the case for Russia or anyone else who will make that move to that new wiring system. That took place at midnight last night. We received information regarding the redemption centers talking about their staffing that was very strong for today. They have plans for tomorrow with a slightly lower number of active staff than they planned for today. Even if that is the case, the remaining employees for the redemption centers are on a standby basis, sort of on call. They can be mustered to come in within 45 minutes. They are not to be live farther than 45 minutes to come into the redemption centers. Staffing requirements change and they can come up and down based on the demand. Same thing with security. Security was high and should stay relatively high. As far as a start time for us we heard some things pointing to any minute any second type mentality. All the information we are hearing late this afternoon was pointing towards something happening any time now to by the weekend. I heard specific times for release times today. When you hear the word release, you kind of go what was released. What happened? We know the Native American tribes were paid Monday. We had some confirmation of that. Also we found that we were in a 72 hour period since then which would expire sometime today or tonight. We didn't even know there was a 72 hour period we were in it and now here we are almost out of it. A lot of activity out west. People have been approached by certain banks to make ZIM deals. We had those deals sort of retracted in the sense of we think it might be better to wait because like blank. All the information that is coming in is pointing toward a very close timing for us. That has been that way, but I think every time we turn around there is one more thing. Here is another one. We found out today something we have heard might be the case and was the case. Bank of America needed to work out some details on with referrals of tier 2 banks involved in the exchange. That needed to be looked at again and agreed to. My understanding today was it was going to be complete, be in effect, that new deal that was put together. That was one of those things we heard a rumor about and today we found there was something to it. We did have that positive bit of information to come through. As we go through the waiting period we are in now we realize there does appear to be something we didn't anticipate that comes forward. When we look back we see it needed to happen or take place. I am at the point where we have to as patient we been because we know it is very close and we stay with this and have faith and keep each other strong and encourage one another in faith we be rewarded. With that being said we are in an any minute basis. That is what I am getting from several directions. We will get there and make it. Stay focused. Be patient, relax, and we should be able to enjoy the time we put into this. Thanks everybody again for coming in. Thank you Pastor Stephen, Sue, and Bob. Thank you Big Call listeners everywhere for staying in tuned. Stay and keep an eye on this. We will see whether we have the Tuesday call or the toll-free numbers to put them out to you to set our appointments. Thank you everybody. We will talk to you again. We appreciate it. Good night everybody. Transcript and disclaimer on iqdcalls.com